Hello, we now begin the series The Verge 3D for Maya. In this part of the tutorial, we'll create a new Verge 3D application. We trust you already installed the toolkit and now can see the Verge 3D menu on the top navigation bar. Here you can see some functional options, including export settings, the option for running the App Manager, sneak peek the option to quickly export and preview your scene in the browser, and the export GLTF option. So let's run the App Manager. Here you can see the list of all applications that are included in Verse 3D distribution as examples. So let's create our own app. To do this, we can click this button on the left panel. Let's name it Swiss underscore army underscore knife and click Create App. Now we can see that the app is created and provided with some buttons. The blue icon is for running our app. As you can see, it links to the HTML file. The green icon nearby denotes the EGLTF file to which the Maya scene is exported. Then we have a link to the corresponding Maya file from which we'll be exporting GLTF. Here we got a row of functional buttons. The first one is for running the visual scenario editor called Puzzles. Then comes a button for opening the app folder. The third one is for publishing the app on Versity Network. Then a currently inactive button for updating the app for a new Versity version. And the final button deletes the app. So let's run our application by clicking on the blue icon. It just shows the default cube with some background. The GLTF file viewer basically displays the same, as our app does not have any scenario or UI at this stage. We can now open up the Maya scene, which is basically the source for this cube scene. Let's replace the default cube with some pre-modeled geometry for our Swiss Army Knife app. At first we delete the cube, then go to File, Import, and select the Maya file with the knife model. You can find the link to the starter files below this video. Now our model is here, and in order to see it in the web application, we must perform export to GLTF. Let's overwrite the old GLTF file, which contains the default cube. Now we can back, get back to the App Manager and run the app. As we can see, the knife model is all here. Now let's copy all the images from the starter files to the app folder. We'll be using them later to create materials. To do this quickly, open up the app folder and then the folder with starter files. Copy all the textures from the starter files and paste them straight to the root of the app folder. Let's also delete the HDR file used in the default cube scene because we'll be using our own HDR. Be sure to save your Maya scene. That's it for now. See you in the next video.